the kind-hearted king. King Vikramaditya was well known for his justice and kindness. Even gods came to him to settle their problems. In his kingdom, no one was unhappy. His people loved him and praised him. Once, King Vikramaditya decided to build a palace on the banks of a river. He ordered his minister to measure the land and start the work. The laborers worked hard and in a few days they finished building the palace. Before showing the palace to the king, the minister decided to take a final look. Marvelous! What's that? I didn't see that before. How can a hut be there and whom does it belong to? Sir, it belongs to an old woman. She has been living there for a long time. Tell the old woman to sell her hut to us. The minister tried to tell the old lady that a hut would spoil the beauty of the newly constructed palace. But the old lady was ready to receive any punishment rather than sell the hut. I want to buy your hut. Ask for anything, I will give it. I am sorry, sir. I cannot accept your offer. I love my hut more than my life. I have lived in it with my late husband and I want to die in it. The matter was then taken to the king. The wise and generous king thought for some time. Leave the hut where it is. It will not spoil the beauty of the palace. Rather, it will add to the beauty of the palace. Don't forget that what seems ugly to us may be precious to someone else. The people then realized why the king was so highly respected. The Kind-Hearted King King Vikramaditya was well known for his justice and kindness. In his kingdom, no one was unhappy. His people loved him and praised him. Once, King Vikramaditya decided to build a palace on the banks of a river. He ordered his minister to measure the land and start the work. The laborers worked hard and finished building the palace. The minister took a final look at the palace before showing it to the king. The minister was very happy, but he suddenly noticed a hut beside the beautiful palace. He was very angry. The minister asked the guard angrily how a hut could be there next to the palace. He inquired the guard who the hut belonged to. The guard replied that the hut belonged to an old lady and that she had been living in the hut for a long time. The minister wanted the old lady to sell the hut to them. The minister spoke to the old lady and tried to tell her that a hut would spoil the beauty of the newly constructed palace. But the old lady was ready to receive any punishment rather than sell the hut. The matter was then taken to the king. The wise and generous king thought for some time. Then he instructed the minister to leave the hut where it was. He also said that it would not spoil the beauty of the palace, but instead add to its beauty. The old lady was very happy. The people then realized why the king was so highly respected.